Good morning. How's it going? I hear you're going A&M. Is yeah, that right? Summer. Awesome. It's summer break for these West Lico High students, but their educational growth continues even through their vacation. The scholars are here to spend the day. We'll kind of talk to you about some of the things that we do here at Precinct 1. With I'll Precinct 1 Commissioner David Fuentes. A lot of times we're looking for people who care. We have Commissioner Fuentes here today with us, which you know is an amazing mentor and just somebody that our kids want to look up to because all of the work that David's doing, we're hoping that our kids will do the exact same thing and even more in their future. We have 300 colonias, more or less, in Precinct 1 alone. The students are preparing for a Girl State and Boy State conference later in the summer. This field trip takes them inside the county and city government. Some of our roles and responsibilities, how we work with our uh, local governments, whether they're schools or cities, and we want to just give them a little bit of exposure before they go over to Boys and Girl State and participate in, in those programs up there. Two of the major topics discussed are flooding and drainage. The commissioner addresses the historic June 20th flood and even goes deep into his own personal experience from that day. He then talks about what he and his team are doing to improve the drainage system. It was really sad to hear and to see about all the, uh, the victims that were, you know, harmed by this flooding. And it's awesome to know that Mr. Fuentes and his team are working really hard and putting in a lot of work to be able to help these um, families. To give the students a better glimpse of what's taking place at Precinct 1, the scholars are taking to two project sites. The first, Midway Road, where construction is almost complete on a brand new paved road. It's important for school districts, for us to work with the school district. They helped us a lot during the flood events. The field trip concludes at an open field located between Mercedes and Westlaco, east of Las Brisas subdivision, where a new drainage improvement project is currently taking place. When the project is complete, this area will be a detention pond. This was one of the worst hit areas in last year's storm. Our city and our community had to work together to build itself up and I'm super excited and thrilled to see that we have people who are taking the initiative to make a difference and to gather our community and to make change for the better because we do need it. These uh, projects that we have aren't going to relieve all the flooding that occurs in Westlaco or in Precinct 1 or in Hidalgo County. It's to try to keep water out of people's homes. As the students hear a few last words from Commissioner Fuentes, there is a sense of appreciation and gratitude. They now have a different perspective of their community, their precinct. It was a good experience to be able to see all this because to be quite honest, I didn't really know much about this. So it was, it was an honor to be able to spend the day with Mr. Fuentes and see what he does behind the scenes. But I'm happy that everyone's being effective and efficient and working towards the main goal, which is to help the houses and the homes of the people that we love dearly and that is our own community. For KWS TV, I'm Mike Gonzalez.